Painter and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a couple of unboxings or unbaggings from Distracted by Diamonds. I'm so excited about this one. I've been waiting to get it. It has been consistently sold out and I finally got it. Yes. But first, let's take a look at what's in this. Oh, oh my God. I'm so excited. I'm running. Okay. So I did order patty wax. You know I'm patty wax girl. I always will be, will never apologize for doing so. I got cheesecake. Oh man, that smells just like New York style cheesecake and pomegranate. I love pomegranate. Pomegranate juice is my favorite too. I like drinking that and it's pretty much a superfood, so it's really good for you. So those are my patty waxes. Of course, she always, these are gonna be gone. I'm sorry, I love Lifesaver gummies uh, so much. Um, Looks like I got a uh, lime and maybe a strawberry or a cherry. Yep, those will be gone today. I love those. And look at this. Oh my God. It is a cover minder. And it's a mermaid. Isn't she cute? Oh, I just love her. And on the back, it looks like there is resin. She's got strong big magnets on the back. Do the stars shake? Oh, I think they shake. That is amazing. All right, I'm gonna definitely use this cover minder. It is so stinking cute. Thank you, Robin. And she also writes you a note. And if you've noticed on my desk, I've started to put some fun stickers. And Robin always sends the coolest stickers. Okay, she's got a Rolex. I gotta put that right next to the Chanel. A monkey. And that looks like Ariel, but Ariel's got some tattoos on her arms. That's interesting. Okay. Thank you so much for the stickers, Robin. She always writes a nice note. We will talk soon. Hi there, friend. Hang in there. We're all hanging in there with all this craziness going on in the world. So, Robin, thank you again so much for all of this. I love it. Love the cover minder and the stickers. Just got to make sure I get everything back in here. Oh, and these are staying out because I'm eating those. Okay. Now, I've been waiting for this. This is not a new release. This was um, one of the original paintings that Robin got in her store, but it was wildly popular. It was always gone every time uh, it came up. So I, of course, again, stocked her store and finally, finally got it. I was so excited. All right, let's see what we got. I'll show you what it is at first. Look in the bag to make sure there's nothing, nope, nothing else in there. Okay. We have got toolkit. I'm feeling drills, feeling drills. All right, there are the drills. Okay, inventory sheet is in there too. I'm not gonna show you that just yet. I'll make you wait on the canvas. All right, so we got a toolkit. I'm not gonna take everything out in the name of time, but she always jam packs her toolkits with extra stuff. You get a sticker of the painting, this is a tape measure, so you can measure the drill field of your diamond paintings. She always puts in a sample or two of her super sticky patty wax and, again, a sticker of the project that you're doing. Because, again, if you keep track or keep a log, you can stick that sticker on there to remind you of what it looked like. Blue pen, squishy, also some baggies, a boat with a funnel, which is always nice, and super sharp tweezers. Please, these have already, oops, I'm going to show you the picture. These have already poked a hole in the, uh, in the bag, so just be super careful with these because they are really, really sharp. And also sometimes uh, she'll put in some multi-placers as well to put on the other end of your pen. So that's the toolkit. All right, I know, I know. You wanna see the canvas before I show you the drills. So, find the title of it. Subtropical Splendor by Puffy Gator. It's the cute fox. I just love this one. I do, I do, I do. Um, it is a 52 by 58 centimeter with 40 colors. It is a square. Lots of Robin's paintings are squares. I'm not scared of squares. Um, it just takes a little bit of practice and you can get it if you've never done one. Um, I encourage you to do so. All right, let's, let's look at this canvas. Again, this is poured glue and she always packs them very, very nicely. Oh my Lord, look at all these colors. Okay, let me put Wow, lots of oranges, and oh, look at the hibiscus and the fox's ears and on, on its head. Oh my gosh, 40 colors. All right, let me do this really quick. With poured glue, you can roll it back. Do not do it with mounting film. Do not do it with double-sided adhesive. You will cause 
major issues with your canvas, but you can. And again, I zhuzh to get it to flatten out a little bit better. And these are all self-flattening canvases. Um, let me go ahead. Um, she's got schematics on both sides, one with a picture, one without. So you've got it on both sides, which is always very, very nice. I'm pulling this back. Okay, again, the canvas is always super sticky. Marlon, if I can get them down here in the drill field so they can see it, especially in this darker area so they can see the clarity of the symbols look to be very clear to me, all very distinct. Um, her squares look to be a little bit smaller than other squares. I don't know if that's just my eye, but um, they do seem a little bit smaller than other squares. Again, it doesn't bother me. Um, and again, they, they go on like, like a dream and uh, never had an issue with any of her canvases. Um, the, the, the plastic, uh, the clear plastic is the what you're seeing, the rivers and bubbles. And there are some folds, but that those will come right out. I'm not in the slightest bit worried about that. Okay, what am I doing with this plastic here? There, get your act together. There we go. Okay, so flip this over and show you the drills. Again, 40 colors. Individually baggied. Love that feature. So you can work straight from the bags. Sorry, crinkling, struggling as usual. Let me see. Oh, how do I get this thing open? Okay, really? Where's the opening? Help, help. All right, well, there's more than one way to skin a cat. There we go. All right, ooh, we got some loose drills, some escapees here, so I've got to be careful. All righty. All right, you're gonna live it, live the 3865 life for the background. 33770. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. Lots of peaches. You can see 950 is another one. 758, a deep peach. Lots of peaches in here. 945. Any other peaches that I see? I'll start doing the oranges now. 3830, 356. It's another 402. So I think this belongs with a peach family. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, there's another, I mean, lots and lots of different shades of orange in this. Whoops, and I'm throwing them on the ground. That's good, Kara. Some more. That's a vibrant orange, a little bit. Get these scissors out of the way. Um, just lots and lots of different colors of orange. We got some pinks in here, different shades of pink. Here's a dark fuchsia, um, another kind of shade of pink. Some cranberries, 815, 902, 3857. Here's another one, 3721. I don't know, this is, and these are all kind of outlier colors. Um, you know, with light taupish color, maybe a cross between a red and a cranberry. This one is interesting, 3756. It looks white probably on camera, but it's got the slightest tinge of green. It's like a very, the lightest seafoam green you can probably see. Um, kind of a light, light yellowish color. Here's some more taupes. Goes up there. Uh, 317, a dark gray. Some purple, 779 and 3041. And here's 3743, which is kind of a lavender. 159 is another color of gray. Uh, 3747, a very light ice blue. Here's another peach, 754. I'll put that with the peaches. Uh, 3713, another pretty pink. That's all the three tens you're gonna be working with, folks. All of the three tens. That's amazing to me. 157, which is a blue, 3822, which is a yellow. So all of these are really pretty. And let me really quickly get a drill tray. And we're going to put some of these three tens in it because this is normally where you have your problems. If you're going to have trash or whatnot. Sorry, looking for a tray. I'll be right there. Found one. To think with all the trays I get, I can find one easily. All right, here's one. Because my other trays are full of drills on the project I'm working on. So let's get 310 opened up and see what we can see. 
All right. I'll put a bunch of 310s in there. And if Marlon can zoom in, I don't see any trash. I, I do not, seriously cannot see any trash whatsoever. They look really, really good. Don't they look smaller to you, though, than regular square drills? They just look a little bit smaller. So that is the 310. Again, perfectly flat, um, perfectly formed. There's no, they're not sticking together. They're not staticky. I mean, again, I never, ever have a problem on one of these kits. So, all right, let me get you moved over, all these colors moved over, and give you one last look of our super cute fox. I love it. Oops, an escapee. Have to find where that goes. Okay. And there he or she is in all of her splendor or his splendor. Cannot wait to start work on this. And again, the artist is Puffy, Gabe, Puffy Gator. And uh, the title of the diamond painting is Subtropical Splendor. Are these paintings legally licensed? You bet. Every single one of them. Robin works with some of the best attorneys in the country to make sure that these are legally licensed images that she is putting out. Um, she's very serious about that. So... Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have, and I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and a great beginning to your week. And before I go, I'm going to remind you, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is The Principal Painter, and I am signing off.